today I want to make a graph, but in order to make that graph, I need to import some messy data. I need to stack it. I need to split it and all that jazz. So let's look at how to do it and let's get started. So here I have my so-called messy data. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to open it up in Excel so we can have a look at it. And, and one of the first things we notice here is that these have horribly long column names. So this one is called a specimen A test one with no extension meter, 10 millimeter straight displacement. And this is the same text just with test eight. And this is a stretch stress. Okay. So this is, if you haven't guessed it, a tensile testing. And I have the displacement and I have the stress. And I keep this test going until it breaks. So you can see these do not have the same length at all, uh, but that's not a problem. So again, let's just get the data into jump. And to do that, I highlight my data. I go to my jump tab and I press data table. That should import my data into jump. So I'm going to close down Excel. And here I have my data. So one of the issues here is that some of the information that I need to use in my graph is actually hidden in the column headers. So I need some way to get that test out uh, from the column headers. And I need to have one column with all this displacement text and I need another column with all the stresses so I can make a displacement versus stress chart. And to do that, I'm just going to start off by highlighting everything I have and going to table and stack, stack everything but that first column, which is just a running number, so I don't really want that. Put that into the stack column. And if you have jump 17, you get a preview of how that stack is going to be. And that's just really awesome. So before I press stack, I can see whether what is what I want to be doing is also happening. And I didn't want to have this column. So it's because this one is set on keep all. So I'm just going to only have the selected ones. I don't want that one. Okay. So look, how, did that, how did that look? So now I have one that's called label and one that's called data. And that is really what I want for this one. So let's just go ahead, press OK. We can minimize that one. So now I have a new data table where I have all the labels or all everything stacked really. And we can start using that recall tool to get some of the information out of this horribly long column headers. So the first thing I want out is the test. So let's do that. So I go to recode. I want the test out. So let's go in and say, I want to extract a segment. And this is a really cool, and you see why I like this. So here I have the text that I have available. And the blue one is the one that's highlighted that I'm actually getting. So I can see what is the current value and what is the replacement value. And right now the replacement value is just specimen, not really what I'm looking for. So I'm changing this like so. so now it says test and I'm adding one more. Now it says what test, beautiful. That was what I needed. So I just gotta go ahead and press okay. And like with the import, I really like that before I actually do anything, I get a sense whether it's also happening like what I'm hoping they will do. And it does in this case. So we just got to go ahead and press recode in a new column. So, so now I have all the test information. Next thing I want out is I want out which of these are displacement and which of these are stresses. So I go here, I go to recode again. And I say, well, now I want to have extract segment that I just need the very last word. Does that work? Then I have stretch displacement and displace stress. So that would work. Can I remove one more? No. So it's, so I can't remove the stretch, but that's okay because that's, we can work with this. So I say, okay. So now I have straight displacement and stretch stress, but I just want, I don't need this stretch. So I'm just going to highlight that word and copy it. So I press control C to copy and I go to replace string, my fancy search and replace. I search for that one and see when I search for it, it will remove that one. I press okay. So I did two steps. I replace string. And I extract segment 
And again, I have my changes here and I can modify them as I go. This is looking as I wanted to, so I'm gonna press recode. So now there's no more da actual data that I need from this column. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And so now I want, I have again, everything just in one big stack, but I want to have this, this label three that it's called a very saying name is I want to have one column with all the stress information and another column with all the displacement. And I want to have the third column with my test information. And to do that, I need to go into split. So I go to table, I go to split. I say that I want to have, what is the split column? I want to split data. What do I want to split it by? I want to split it by label three. And at this time, I want to keep all the remaining columns. So I get that label as well. So what does that look like? Let's give it. A... So this looks good. I have one with displacement, one with stress, and a third one with the label information. That's really everything I wanted. So I press OK. So now we've gone from having this very horribly long uh, column names in a Y table to have a long table where I have all the tests underneath each other. I have one column for displacement, and one column for stress, and I can go into my graph graph builder. I can use this very nice and easy drag and drop tool to say displacement is the X, stress is the Y. So I get this very classical um, tensile testing and label two, which we could have just called label. I can put that into group that doesn't really look right. So I can put it into wrap. That would work. I can also put it into overlay. Uh, but really, I think wrap will wrap it off for me and change this to this kind. And I say done. And that was really the graph I wanted to create in this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something useful. If you liked it, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. But again, catch you in the next one. See ya.